Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Amnesia, The Dark Descent. We are here, back in the Nave place area again, with, uh, oh hey! Look at that. Is this a thing? Did I already do this? In court, the Order of the Black Eagles spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish. Oh, okay. I guess while we're at it, we'll open up these drawers, since I probably forgot to do that too. Hey, look at that! Tinderbox! Look at that! Wow! I did forget to look around. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, the, the Black Order, he called it. Black Order, right? Uh, no, Black Eagle. Black Eagle would seem to be a group of political power of some kind. That probably, uh, at least in the canon of the game, most likely not in real life, they probably control much of the Prussian, uh, political scene and everything like that, and Alexander helped found it, and Alexander, uh, due to all of his eldritch magics and everything, uh, doesn't age, or at least ages very slowly, and so everybody just kind of ignores him, and ignores the fact that he's lived way longer than he should have, and keeps young, because, uh, well, what are they gonna do, call him out on it, and be like, oh, dude's like hundreds of years old, and other people will be like, what are you talking about, or something, you know, like, it, it'd be, it'd be kind of like, I guess hard to prove it back then, because it's not like they had birth records and stuff like that to prove he was born, uh, all that time ago, he could just deny it, especially since many of those young people wouldn't have known him back when he knew their fathers and grandfathers, and so those younger people would, you know, they, they might no, because of hearing their fathers and grandfathers talk about Alexander, they might know that he's been around a long time, but they didn't actually meet him back then, so they wouldn't actually know from first-hand experience, so they, you know, they could think up excuses to explain it away. Um, but anyway, back, uh, in one of the rooms around here, not sure... Okay, what, this one, this goes to which place? Choir entrance, okay. That's to the choir entrance, so the other direction, Good to see you. yeah, hi. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, Daniel. Please, find the ingredients and prepare the tonic via disguise. And do so before you assemble the orb. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the orb. You won't be able to save him. Oh, okay. Well, I... I guess we should save him. He seems like a pretty cool guy so far, and... Well, he certainly hasn't hurt us. He hasn't done a ton to help us, but he's given us some advice, I guess. So, alright, sure. We'll save you, Agrippa. Alright, but first... In here... Um, I was thinking about it. And although it doesn't make much much sense from a you know realistic standpoint, wait, is the is the music starting up? I don't know. This is. This is really worrying me. There is some kind of music playing. 
I'm not sure if it's because a monster spawned or if it's because we're in here near the Kerk. Or maybe that's just the music that was always playing and I just only did now noticed it. Maybe that's the Nave soundtrack. Is the low, quiet humming. Or maybe this game's driving me insane. I keep saying that, don't I? <laughs> it's because I keep worrying about it. Anyway, um, it doesn't make much sense to feed this thing to me, personally. Uh, maybe to somebody else it does. But, video game logic, you know? Video game logic says... that apparently this works, and this will somehow get us... The, uh, piece that we need. Okay. All right. Picked up remains. Remains. The bone is covered in mucus. Oh, okay. I guess that makes a little sense. We get it to eat the meat. It leaves the bone covered in its mucus. The mucus contains trace amounts of its DNA, and that can get us the tempter that we need to complete Wire's formula. Agrippa the Dying Man wants a specific tonic to made to save him. One note speaks of a mixture made with three ingredients. The pedestal in the chancel has a depression in it that could fit an orb. An orb is needed to enter the inner sanctum. Its shattered pieces lie scattered in the torture rooms. Okay. Um, and nope, not diaries, notes. Agrippa channels wire. Yeah, Tamter. The Tamter is what we got from the Kerk. Cool. It's a property of the secretion from the water-dwelling carrick. You know, when I hear somebody say that uh, a certain ingredient comes from a secretion made from a creature, I think of, like, their sweat or something, not their saliva. But, uh, whatever. All right. Works, I guess. Um, okay, so the choir has the fungi. Um, that could work as a paralyzer. The vitae could be extracted from an agonized human victim's blood. And that would be from the torture chambers. But I believe the torture chambers is also where he said the orbs at. And I believe torture chambers are right here, right? This is where the pipe goes. Transept. Um, doesn't sound like. A torture chamber to me. How are things coming? You're a good boy now. And I appreciate oh, you. Coming. Shut up, Agrippa. But I you. Just because I come to see you every once in a while because you're the only thing in here that doesn't try to kill me. Doesn't mean you need to be a dick about it. Um Alright, whatever. What's this place called? Choir. Alright, fine, we'll go to the choir. Something died inside of him that day. Watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. Oh no. Alright. To the choir, where we'll have to find... What are we looking for here? Poisonous fungi to work as a paralyzer. The choir seems to be a fertile ground for this, of, for this sort. I should be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. Okay, got it. Oh boy. Maybe she knows. Maybe who knows? Also, we only have a slight headache, so that's good. A tinderbox. Cool. I've noticed that uh, every once in a while, uh, Daniel refers to some woman that he doesn't name. Um. Like, just now, he said, maybe she knows. And he's he said some things similar to that. 
when he's uh, like rambling because of you know loss of sanity. Your character hears hallucinations and sometimes talks and stuff like that. Um, and I have to wonder: is there actually a specific character, a specific woman that he's talking about, or is it like I don't know? Is it meant to be more more of a psych? psychological thing like is he like like is it some type of Freudian thing he's wor worrying about what his mother would think of him or something or is he talking about that woman that uh, was in the torture chambers I think he like it's been a little while I don't exactly remember but I think he tried helping some woman escape who was in the dungeons or something at one point after the men had secured the prisoner the ritual began Okay. Interesting. Uh, I don't think we actually need to do anything with the bucket. I'm just moving around what I can to try and... What's with the random description of the, uh, the thing there? Of the ritual starting? I'm not sure. Do we need to reenact the ritual by putting all the tools that were used on the table? I'm kind of flying blind here. Just a guess. Or maybe it's nothing. Yeah, it's probably nothing. Alright, let's go back out here. I swear to God, I thought I heard something. I thought it was like a quiet growl or something. Jesus. Okay, oh, just calm down. The area is covered in light. Uh, I mean, it, it's that the game has forced me to run and hide from monsters at certain times when there weren't very good hiding places. I think the sewers was a perfect example of that. There really were no hiding places in the sewers except like behind a couple columns, so you didn't have much choice in the matter. But most of the time, the game seems to not spawn monsters when there are no hiding spaces around, so I feel kind of safe here because there's no hiding spaces. I mean, at most, I could duck behind this thing, but my head's still clearly visible over the top. Standing behind the table wouldn't work, and obviously the door doesn't work. The monsters don't stop for doors. They just smack the doors down, so those don't... Standing behind the door wouldn't count as a hiding spot, you know? I don't know. Right. Oh, what the... The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Oh! No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander! You must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. Please, I didn't do anything. Take the man, cut the lines, take the man, cut the lines. Please, the man. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain.
So, presumably following some kind of diagram or instructions from a book or whatever, they'd paint a bunch of symbolic lines on the dude's chest and then use those like, uh, you know, like tracing a picture when you're drawing to uh, cut him open the exact way all those lines are formed. And those are some pretty fancy lines. They went all over the place. Oh, the doors suddenly open. Great. And we can't jump. All right. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Oh. Where did the roses come from? How's my head feel? Really bad. Oh boy. It's instantly down to the lowest possible sanity level. Could I have avoided that? Could I have not done that? Oh. Bo oh boy. Oh, hey. Bodies hanging from the place. Let's stand in the light for a while. I think this is probably... To be honest, it's, it's, it's maybe my own fault. If I had just not come into this room, I probably could have avoided that. I didn't have to pick up the note, though I, I mean, I assumed that the note was uh, just going to be more story, more background and stuff like that. <sighs> kind of another, you know, thing I've complained about before, the game basically forces you to lose sanity at certain points where it's completely unavoidable. and. Obviously, yeah, the game probably wouldn't be any s scary if it was too easy to avoid the monsters, or if it was, you know, possible for the player to completely avoid losing sanity whenever they, you know, didn't want to, basically. But, uh, yeah, stuff like that's a little, a little annoying, especially since it basically tricked me, because, it, like I said, it was a note. I assumed it was going to be something that we could just pick up and read and get some more backstory. Instead, it was a whole big scene where we had to uh, reenact a ritual sacrifice that Daniel did, and it ended up lowering his sanity. Oh, but thankfully, standing in the light for a bit did bring some of it back. Good. Thank God. All right. Now let's, uh, look at the, the ceremony. Okay. Yeah, so that was... So it basically was a note, but he had a flashback and reenacted what the note was talking about. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to make me lose some sanity for looking at this, but uh, those are the lines that they were talking about. And he had to use those to basically trace out the pattern that he'd cut them open with. So basically they got all cut up. Real super bad like. Thankfully it seems I did not. It would appear that I didn't lose any sanity for looking at the the bodies. So that's good. Because I don't want to lose more sanity. I don't want to pass out and let the monsters chomp on my butt. Choir Main Hall. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus Rose Oil. I think we already read this one. Oh, hey, look at that. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? Shit. It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. 
It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is curing us both. Uh huh. Okay. Uh oh boy. That is a monster over there. I honestly could have guessed there would be a monster in here. The place is so big. There's. Uh, and it's been a while since we've seen one. But I don't know where to go. And I don't know if the monster saw us at all. Oh, it did! Please don't. Just please ignore me. Okay, oh boy. It's not ignoring me. It's like... Coming right for me. Alright, I'm just gonna go this way, cause, well... That's opposite the direction of the monster. What's my sanity? Heads pounding, hands are shaking? Okay. The hell's over here. I don't know. Oh, skeletons. Skeletons not good. Oh, I'm kind of surprised. I'm pretty sure this whole area is considered dark, because my vision seemed to be tinting slightly blue whenever I uh, put the lamp away. So I should be constantly losing sanity from being in the darkness, but I haven't gone down a level yet. Well, that's good. Maybe I don't even need it. Who knows? Not me, that's for sure. Is it coming this way? Doesn't seem to be. Alright. Oh, hey! Buggers! Crawling on my screen. That would be an obvious sanity effect. Um... Oh, Jesus. Nice jump scare game. Thanks a lot for that. I appreciate it. Alright, you know what? Let's just calm down, sit in the light for a while, and try to get some sanity back. Um, I thought that the choir, according to the note, the choir is supposed to be where we can get the fungus. And then I saw the trail of blood leading up to the Iron Maiden, and I figured, well, it seems some torturing went on here as well. So that's, uh, great. But, uh, a wooden bucket filled with sticky tar. I still don't know what this is going to be for. I have to remember I have that, because, frankly, it, uh... be bad if I got to a puzzle that needed this and then just forgot that I had it. But yeah. Um, Alright, you know what? Actually, I'm out of time for this episode, so I'm going to end it here while my character is shaking and hopefully the monster won't spawn on us or anything. I'm going to end it here for now and uh, I'll see you all in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, bye bye